Hi everyone, I'm going to do an art journal page today, maybe two, we'll see how uh, much time it takes. So I promised you to do something like this too. Uh, this is a journal that I, I made in a dictionary uh, book. So I can do whatever I want, I can experiment, I can just clear my head by doing something simple like this. Uh, I just sectioned this page with, with the ruler and probably eyeballed it more than measured each square. If you can see, this is a little bit, uh, the width is a little bit less than the other ones. I really didn't care. I just wanted to play with colors I had a chalk pastel set that I wanted to use so in each uh, square I just took two colors and made the background and then I just added these elements by drawing it by hand um, coloring with gold and making uh, the black lines with a permanent marker so that the only purpose was to clear my hand and just have fun with the colors especially when you are using an old book you can do whatever you want let go experiment with colors with shapes find out what you like what you don't like and just think of it as you are you are saving the book from becoming an egg carton so here i put some gesso before i knew i wanted to do something with watercolors so it was better also i wanted to push back some of the text that is on the page and with just so that what happened and so this i really eyeballed it just put some watercolors didn't care if they bleeded and went everywhere i really didn't care afterwards i went around each of these uh, rectangles with a permanent marker did a gold splatter and these are stencil and then I just added some details with the marker so I'm going to start a new page and I'm going to start I, I will do something with similar to this of course it would be a little bit different I can't <laughs> and it's boring to do the same thing over and over again and I'm going to start with the gesso. I'm just going to take some with a plastic card. The only a uh, reason I'm using a plastic card is because I'm not. I don't want a um, brush strokes a uh, on my page texture of brush on my page, and it also gives me a very thin layer. We, so some of the text is showing through and that's it of course you can do whatever you want if you want to uh, mask everything then go with a thicker layer of gesso really up to you so some parts are more uh, thick and some parts are thinner I really don't care so here we go, that's the first layer and done with the gesso. I'm going to uh, put on my uh, heat tool or hair, hair dryer or whatever. If you don't like the sound, just mute it and it will be quite quick. Gesso is drying very fast and that's great.
course I had to put my hand in the thicker parts and <laughs> and smear some of it. I don't have enough patience, but what can I do? Okay, so just a little bit more drying because I want to start and so here we go. Okay, so I'm going to do something similar but not the same uh, sectioning that I did here. And let's see. Again, you can do whatever shapes you want and that you feel uh, that you like. Maybe I'll go again with rectangles only, not as uh, structured or I don't know, in line. I'm just playing as you can see I'm doing I'm eyeballing it and nothing is is accurate precise or whatever I'm just want to play with colors and shapes and whatever will be will be let's see You, you can probably, you probably can't see what I'm doing with the pencil, but I'm just marking some rectangles and to give me some indication where I'm going to put the colors. So, as I said, experimenting and just playing. So... As you know, me, if you know me and you've seen my videos, you know I kind of hate pink. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be brave and use some pinks here on uh, this page. Not all of them are going to be pinks, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay. So... I'm even going to be very brave and take some pink that looks like, I don't know, Barbie and Bazooka Joe's love child. Pepto Bismol. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of hate this color. So, just going to start with this. And let's make my life easier and just put some water maybe on this also okay so in each a uh, rectangle i'm not going to use one color i'm going to use two colors i always like to mix colors together and see what becomes of it yuck i hate this pink <laughs> be brave <laughs> let's see i'm gonna put a little bit here again and now i'm going to mix it with another color You see, it's very loose, it's very not precise or anything, and it doesn't matter. And in places where there isn't gesso, the color will be different, and I like it because it just gives more um, visual texture. That's the best way I can explain it. I'm cleaning my brush from time to time here in a jar that I have with water and let's see and now i'm going to mix it with something else let's try this one
this is from I bought it from the cheap store this one I think some non brand from Amazon it really doesn't matter what you have use it and of course you can do the, this project with any colors that you want with any paint that you want and with any colors that you want again it's just experimenting and having fun and if I feel I don't have enough paint I'm just going and picking up more okay let's see another pink what will I take <laughs> Or maybe some, let's go and do something a little bit purplish. Yeah, so I need more water. Whatever will be, will be. And now for the next color with this, let's try this very light purple. I don't know. It's hardly, you can hardly notice it, but never mind. Another rectangle is done. So, taking again from this purple. I like to have from the same color in several places if I'm I'm planning more than the nine rectangles like I've done in the other page so that's what I'm doing here and let mix it let's try this pink Even if I don't learn to <laughs> like pink, I still made something and experimented with it. Okay, so let's see. Mm, let's go here. There is some noise from the construction work outside. It seems like they will never finish. Just taking another color and mixing it. Okay. So I really like this color, so I'm going to use it in another rectangle. You see how loose I'm doing it? It really doesn't matter. Okay, what color do I mix with it? Let's try this one. Okay. Next. <laughs> So originally I had this uh, rectangle here, but now I decided to section it more. And we'll see what happens. Okay. And what color do I mix now? Mm -mm. Don't overthink it. <laughs> I'm trying this color and it's almost similar so it doesn't really show but that's good enough and I know it all looks crooked and very strange right now but I'm hoping that once I'm finished it would be more unified and more cohesive that's it so Okay, so I really liked this color, so I want it to show up in another uh, rectangle. 
I just need to figure out what color to use now. Maybe this purple. Let's use this. Okay. And now this one. And I'm letting them mix in between. If I feel it's not enough, I can always go back and add more from the color that I want. Like so. Okay, next. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so let's use this. The same purple I've used, but now I will mix it with another one. Let's see. Mm. Maybe this purple. Okay. Nice. Nice and interesting. Just trying to repeat colors that I've used in other places, so it would be interesting. Mm. Don't try to uh, battle with the puddles. This is part of being interesting. Okay. Braving the pink again. And let's see this one a little bit similar to this one but never mind i like it yeah okay this needs to be completely uh, dry before i do anything so i'll be back okay so this is a uh, dry and now I'm going to use a black permanent marker. This is a uh, cheap stuff from the cheap store. It's supposed to be to, for writing on CDs. Don't know who use CDs anymore, but I don't care. So I'm going to use the narrow uh, end of this and just go again loosely around each uh, rectangle. It seems like here I had a wet spot. And I'm just going around each rectangle with this kind of wavy line and pork. This is, I'm making it on purpose. And if you don't like it, you can do this whole project with a ruler and make straight lines and even shapes. Again, this is just experimenting and doing something that you like. And, or just trying something that you don't usually do and that's the place to experiment in an old book. 
like so very very loosely around each rectangle and I'm going twice so I'm getting this crooked wavy line really doesn't matter It seems like I survived using pink, still not my favorite color, especially as I said, not the pink Barbie color. And here I just went into a wet spot. I'm always <laughs> ruining my markers. Okay, I'm planning after this to do some black splattering. I'm always looking for some element that will go all over the page and unify all the elements I have. And splatter is one of the ways that you can go about it. You can stamp, you can splatter, you can do all kinds of stuff. I'm going to do some black splattering and afterwards I'm thinking of stenciling some image which which would be my focal point you don't have to anything like this in a book you can just experiment like this you can leave this like you do a swatch it doesn't have to have a focal point you can just have fun with it I can make tons of uh, pages with just shapes and colors without any focal point it doesn't have to have a focal point or a purpose or words of wisdom it just so you can try your hand in uh, all kinds of stuff Again, wet paint. Now, another thing that you can do, if you done something like this, you can do in each rectangle something uh, different. You can stamp in it, you can draw, uh, whatever you want all kinds of elements you can even stick buttons in many colors in each rectangle just use your imagination and what you have and have fun with it okay so this is finished oh here I still have this forgot Okay, I still have a little bit uh, wet here. So I'm going to take black acrylic paint, just putting down a little bit, and I'm going to take a fan brush with water. A little bit more water. And now I'm just going all over like this you 
Okay, once again, this needs to dry before I'm doing anything. I'll be back. Okay, so let's hope <laughs> all this platter is dry and I've picked this stencil to use on this page. I've masked some of the elements because I just want this uh, one here. And let's see, I think I'll place it um, here. I'm taking a makeup sponge with black acrylic paint and dabbing the excess. I'm just going to start stenciling. I'll probably need two layers because I'm using a very small amount of paint on my sponge. Of course I can also go back or just continue and then do the second layer so it would be more precise. Depends if you want a complete bl black or if you want some of the color showing through. Once again up to you to decide what you like, what you want. Just going back where I think I need more black. Let's see. Here I need more black. Yeah. I like it. So, I thought about um, using some marker like a gel pen or something to go around my image but I think I will leave it as is the only thing I do want to do because it's a stencil then in a stencil you have to like dissect your image so it will work as a stencil the only thing I do want to do is just take the black marker and kind of a continue the lines that are separated just so my image would be a little bit more defined that's it otherwise i really don't care i'm just connecting some of the shapes here It's not critical of course <laughs> I'm, I just think it works better let's see it seems like s some are parts are still wet and of course it gives me trouble with with the marker okay now I'm really really liking what's going on here just by connecting some of the parts it looks more more together <laughs> yeah this is it this is it I'm feeling like I need something in writing here I don't know why but let's do it freehand and mm -mm -mm. 
Let's see. My handwriting is not great, so I'm doing something with the pencil first. And I'm also dyslectic, so I can mix uh, letters just in a second. They are going a uh, square dancing. I know how to write the word once I, my head goes to do it. <laughs> they are going square dancing and you don't know wh which <laughs> letter will find uh, you will find. Okay, so let's see. Go with Uh, let's see how do I want to do the F with the flow of course <laughs> mm. whatever it really doesn't matter okay that's it that's my page so do I do the other page? What the heck? Let's do another page. And for those who like short uh, videos, they can skip ahead, scroll ahead. Those who don't <laughs> like all my talking also can scroll. Whatever. I'll just continue. Okay. Another page. I don't care that I have all kinds of uh, stuff sm smeared on it. Let's uh, dissect uh, this page again. I'm taking a ruler this time. I'm going to do straight lines, but again, I think I'll go with something a little bit different. Again, I'm eyeballing it. So let's see. Let's start with this. Some will be more like squares, some will be like more rectangles. I don't care. I'm just playing as I said. Okay. Let's see. Maybe it's crooked, maybe it's not. <laughs> Next, hey. really don't care <laughs> some of it is really crooked <laughs> I ju I'm just deciding as I go that's it okay so I've got some uh, rectangles here and I thought about using, I've got water soluble oil pastels and well, let's see <laughs> what comes out of it. So let's start. I want some a purple 
I'm just putting it here again use whatever you want whatever colors you want I'm going to go and do a very colorful I think um, page so and just picking up all kinds of colors don't care but I do want to do if uh, like I said I, I like to have the same color repeat itself so I think I'll just put more of this purple here but I'll mix it with another color right now I'm just a uh, putting down the colors and later uh, because they are water soluble I will activate them with water so it would be more blended but I can also leave it as is it doesn't it really doesn't matter this is completely and utterly just having fun with colors and if you don't want to do something like that you can even take print from the internet free printables of all kinds of coloring books coloring pages and just experiment with colors that's it nothing else to it just experimenting with shapes with colors with patterns here we go let's take another color let's go with a dark blue let's go here okay As you can see here, I'm also going quite loosely with how I'm coloring. It really doesn't matter. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I really want you <laughs> to, to feel free to experiment. Okay, let's try. Let's try this with orange whatever will be will be I want warm colors I want dark colors I don't want to hear anything about color wheels just having fun I can already tell you that I really like this combination. Okay, another a uh, color. What do I want to use? Let's go with the dark green. Let's see. Okay. Mm. Here we go. And let's do another one. Let's do this one. Okay, next. Just repeating colors that I've already used on the page.
What else? Mm -mm. We've got this turquoise, I think, a very dark one. Let's see. No, not here. Okay. Maybe here. I'm trying for three placements on the page. Let's go red. Okay, let's try it with this dark, I don't know what to call it, ochre, whatever, beige. <laughs> mm, what color do I want to use? Another one. Let's do the orange here. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, let's take this brown. Haven't used brown. with red almost done and then I will have to take a brush with water and activate it or you can also use a baby wipe on top of a water syllable pastels and as I said you can also leave it as is what other color do I need to use? I haven't used yellow. Only in two places, so let's put yellow here. And just one, <laughs> I'm left with one more square. Here we go, finished. Okay, uh, let's see. Taking a brush, I've got water in the jar. Not a lot of water. I'm uh, starting with the lighter color, moving into the darker one. This is not going to be perfect. don't care here we go next now I can uh, go and do each time the same color so I would have less of a uh, cleaning my brush or I can just move between the rectangles as I go and that's it the only thing that I really do try is to make some blending in between the two colors for each rectangle okay starting with the yellow
going into the green Just trying to blend it a little bit more. Okay, next. <laughs> Should have started with the light blue, but never mind. I'll just clean the brush. Oh, I like these two colors together. Okay, next. So I'm just going to do this one on camera and then I'll go off camera, do the other rectangles. It's going to take some time. And then I'll be back for the next phase of this uh, <laughs> page. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so finished with the rectangles. I love them. I I'm already uh, <laughs> have met so many uh, ideas for other pages to use uh, this kind of a uh, like this one to be a background or it, it, most of them. <laughs> I just want to do a background with the the, the pastels with the water soluble oil pastels. And after using this or the chalk pastels like I've done here, you need to uh, use some kind of sealer. The cheapest one uh, there is is uh, buying hairspray. Hairspray is the cheapest way to seal something. Uh, next to it is buying some clear, clear spray can and... The expensive stuff is fixative, which I don't buy. It's just uh, not worth it. I At least I don't think it's worth it. So now I'm just taking a black permanent marker and I'm going over the lines that I've done. Like so. Once again, you can leave it as is. It can be just an experiment with colors. You can do all kinds of stuff in each rectangle or you can decide this is your um, background and you want some focal point or other elements on this, uh, let's call it an abstract for that matter. So just going over the lines. I will probably go around the page also with this marker. Right now I don't care. Just want to define my rectangles so I can see what's going on. Going around the page is more if in terms of framing the page. So I leave it for now. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to um, find something I think um, some painty paper or scrapbook paper to cut and do some uh, shapes on top. And of course I can do it by hand, but 
I don't know. I'm going to look for something interesting and I'll be back. Okay, so <laughs> I went looking for something with black and white to some kind of paper to cut elements out of like spiral or whatever but when i was looking this is the my folder for all kinds of stuff that are black and white if it's tissue paper coloring uh, book pages and then i came to here uh, where uh, this is something that i've done i've designed and i thought that this, this could be something nice to be as a focal point so that's what i'm going to use but i i want more details to the back not just this stark white and black on this colorful page so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this stencil and i want to randomly um, stencil this all over i'm going to start somewhere with some of the <laughs> circles with dots and we'll see where it gets me so i'm going to start with this large one here and i'm i'm already have here a white acrylic paint and makeup sponge once again i'm taking paint dabbing the excess and starting to stencil and if it's not enough i can always go and do a second layer so it would be more noticeable on the page right now i'm not really concerned it's more like adding more texture visual texture to the page than anything else so i'm yeah i don't need another layer i like it like this i think i'll go and just continue with the same section of this stencil i think it was from a deco art not sure long time ago i like also that the dots and the circle breaks a little bit the the harsh lines of the rectangles so Each one of these pages is not planned, it's just having fun, as I said, with the colors and with whatever comes along. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do more, I think, here. And maybe another one here. yeah let's see yeah i like it so this is a little bit larger than my page but i can trim a little bit i don't need the beak to be this long so i can trim a little bit I would like it here and let's see no a little bit lower I think and I'll trim here yeah good enough <laughs> here we go so now I only have to glue this to my page. I'm going to take this glue just because it has a fine nozzle and not any other purpose. So I can get into all this 
fine detail like the beak and the tail of this imagined bird and I'm saying imagine before someone will tell me that there is no such bird in nature there is always someone that <laughs> wants me to do some realistic uh, stuff I don't know or expects me to do some realistic things and I don't do this kind of things I think I once <laughs> someone made me mad <laughs> and I think I replied like if I wanted to do realism I would go <laughs> into a uh, photography <laughs> I wasn't nice okay that's it that's my page I love it and I hope it gave you ideas I hope you will try and do something have experiments with color and shapes and find out what you love to do so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.